What is going on everybody? So today we are super excited. Um, we are gonna be going over Bruce. Now, Bruce has been, you know, their community has been growing, the project has been growing, the devices that um, they support has been increasing, and um, a lot of the time we don't, we're not always in front of our computer. So Bruce released their first application. And this one here is going to be co covering the APK, the Android version. Uh, there is an iOS version. It's not it's not straightforward as the APK. Uh, that one you have to go into Xcode and compile it and, and make the app yourself. Uh, but I will do a video over on that as well. I've done plenty of applications on iOS, so another one wouldn't hurt. Uh, but right now today, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Bruce for the Android version. Um, so you can go to the Bruce um, GitHub. So it'd be github.com forward slash pray, P-R, the number three, Y, forward slash Bruce with a capital B and then a app with a capital A, okay? And then you'll be presented with their Bruce app page for their GitHub and then you can scroll down and you'll see the APK for it, okay? Uh, here, we're just gonna go, I have it installed already so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, here, we have a couple of menu options, some icons, and then the terminal output here at the bottom. Um, here, this little piece of paper is just all the documentation where you can find on their GitHub as well. Uh, the cog icon is the baud rate settings where you can change for uh, your serial uh, settings for flashing. Uh, we have the update firmware option, which is not available yet. That will be available in the next release of the Bruce app but that's where you would go and update your firmware or flash your firmware, things like that. Uh, the Bruce web view. So this is gonna be your web UI. So when you go into files and then web UI, and then you go to your, your desktop and, and do your um, uh, mirror your device to, to the desktop, you got your little FS and all that stuff there. Uh, that's basically what this is gonna be. Uh, I've already tried this and I've had some confusion where my device wants to connect to Bruce.local and it doesn't allow me to change it to uh, 172.0.0.1. Uh, it just continues to stay at Bruce.local so it's not it's it's not finding where to go. Uh, so hopefully in the next release they will fix that. But um, normally you would just go to your, uh, you could create the, you make the device an, an AP or you can connect it to um, the same network as your as your uh, device. So your phone and the device that you're flashing would be on the same network, and then you can connect it that way. Um, I'm hoping that's not going to be the case for everybody where I'm or where they have this issue, where you know the um, the uh, uh, addresses conflict. So um, I'm hoping that will be fixed in the next release. Um, so that's where you would go and then USB serial. So this is gonna be where, when you connect your device, uh, you're gonna have a bunch of different commands. Uh, you can have where it says, say hello. I don't have a device connected right now, but uh, you can see here at the bottom where the command is having the device say hello. Uh, the same thing here, play Doom Song. It will basically send a bunch of commands to uh, play a sound in the music player, and it will sound like Doom. Uh, list storage would be your, you know, your little FS and your SD card on that device itself. Um, device settings, same thing. Um, send RF from file. So if you have um, any sub gigahertz uh, um, files on your phone or anything like that, you can send it from your device to, or I'm sorry, from your phone to your device and uh, you can basically remotely send that command. See, so sub gigahertz text, uh, uh, sub gigahertz transmit from file replay dot sub, okay? So, uh, so that's gonna be one of the other things. And then you can do a custom command, right? So um, we are still kind of waiting on, you know, more or less um, a working version. Uh, and when I say working, I mean more in the sense of being able to update the firmware and uh, not have the, uh, the um, URL confusion when you're trying to connect. But, um, but as a first release for this app, this is fantastic. It's gonna make things so much simpler. Um, you know, if you have the M5 launcher for, for Bruce, uh, or for any of your devices rather, uh, this is gonna make it s simpler for you if you don't have that 
and you run just Bruce on your device. Um, say you have an M5 stick, uh, C plus two, or anything like that where you don't have an SD card, this is gonna make it a lot simpler for you. So um, I just wanted to go over that really quick. This is really, really exciting stuff um, and uh, let you guys know that there is an app for it and hopefully soon um, we'll get a, a, a little bit more uh, feature rich app over time. So I um, hope you guys like this video. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying Bruce. I know I am. And uh, subscribe if you guys haven't, like the video, comment if you guys have any questions. Uh, and uh, as always, I will see you in the next one.